Today in the crypto space, we see Bitcoin hovering steady at about 26600 and Ethereum also being very steady at about $1,600. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, are a mix of green and red today. We could be getting a bit of a bounce to the upside, or are we going to get a continuation to the downside where we can buy those dips? In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to talk about one altcoin that, of course, has been retracing, and it has hit a good level of support, and that project is called Micro vision chain space so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of that volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description but better yet guys join the discord a great community lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals learning material and all that good stuff all right let's begin here let's take a look at what the general market is offering us today you know bitcoin kind of going sideways not really doing much and of course you know it is friday we're leading into that weekend price action guys be very careful as i always say during the weekend it is very very tough it's very tough you know the market makers are definitely not there we have the order books nice and thin there's a lot of volatility a lot of price manipulation um, in fact it, if, if there is going to be a time for you to take a break from trading the weekend is where it's at okay you just gotta just hold off wait for the um you know the fresh week to start and that's when you're going to get in once again monday tuesday that's when we start getting true value back into the market but right now you know it's not bad just keep an eye out for those setups bitcoin going sideways you know ethereum doing a very similar type of price action lower you know getting a lower low there, not looking the greatest bnb going sideways many altcoins are going sideways or a dripping down to lower levels cardano down approximately one percent ton coin still grinding to the downside after a spectacular rally to the upside ton coin finally getting a bit of a breather but nothing crazy here it's only down approximately three percent in the last 24 hours so i'm uh, doing okay polka dot going sideways and many altcoins either going sideways or dripping down just a little bit chain link getting a bit of a bounce to the upside three percent that's looking pretty bullish for chain link and as expected as i told you guys chain link already visited the bottom of the range the time to be buying the dip was then now it's about getting defensive if you're planning on range trading or if you want to trail up that stop loss and anticipate that chain link could be breaking out of that range this is the time to pot potentially appreciate those gains right of course you're going to get defensive you're going to be prepared to take profit along the way um and we'll give some uh some room for Chainlink to move it's currently up approximately 12 percent in the last seven days so looking pretty good for Chainlink. if you're holding chain link i would be getting into a defensive strategy because once you get into those double digit gains things start to get really hot and heavy and you want to be able to um de-risk basically de-risk uh what else do we have here dips throughout the market monero coming down okay beep dips 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 uh cosmos dips more dips going sideways for h bar nothing really that interesting for a friday of course nothing that interesting sideways chop action everywhere maker down taking a bit of a dip down approximately three percent is there anything interesting at all in today's market market nothing really algo doing pretty good reaching those previous highs up approximately four percent looking pretty good for algorand if you're a holder great you know you're getting a little bit of proof of life here this later on did take a big fat beating earlier on so it's nice to see it get a bit of relief imx up 30 percent took a bit of a dip and is now planking going sideways so you know what at least at least it's going sideways do, do we get a continuation to the downside or are we gonna get a bit of a bounce guys this is the time for you to say you know what maybe if we break that this trend or this sideways consolidation you might say you know what let me just you know exit my positions and see what's going on here because if you're up 30 percent you definitely don't want to give those gains back to the market so think about that uh if you keep on scrolling down there's a lot of sideways action but then you have radix right out of nowhere radix we've been talking about radix in and out writing you know the the price chart for radix doing pretty good up seven percent eleven percent in seven days this is pretty 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 good you know if you didn't scale into radix earlier on i think uh 
um, you know, uh, it might be too late. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Radix on the list for tonight's live stream, guys. Feel free to join me live tonight at 7.30 Eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action. In fact, it's a great, the greatest time and place for you to make those requests, for me to, you know, pull out some charts. We can talk about charts, talk, talk about setups, uh, you know, entries, exits, and all that good stuff. So join me live tonight at 7.30. I'm going to put Radix on the list for sure. Radix. Uh, the ticker is XRD. I like it. It did well for me um, a couple months ago. It did very well for me. Now I'm like, you know, waiting for a good entry. I'm taking my time here for this entry. Maybe a little bit too much, much time. Look at this 7.5% pop to the upside. No FOMO whatsoever. We're just going to be, you know, patient, of course. Like, look at Render, how patient we are. We're still in a range hovering around, you know, $1.50, $1.60, which is okay. You know, my entry could have been at about $1.30. I would have liked that too, but it's no no worries. I still feel like there's a bit of negativity in this market that we could definitely get those entries once again. Um, you know, there's definitely um, retracements, you know, the peaks and the valleys, they do come, and we're in a sideways consolidation, so who knows uh, what kind of price action we will have in the future, because during consolidation, you could expect deep deep retracements in fact you will even expect you know the sweep of the lows the sweep of the highs and these things definitely will come as we transition into this bull run we have lots of time if you think about it until the bull run rolls around right so in in the meantime we'll, we may see those opportunities once again so i'm being very patient with my you know cash on the side here i do have some cash ready to deploy um you know stables to deploy whenever we get those really red days as of now nothing really significant neo up approximately three percent uh cava three percent give or take uh nothing really crazy here guys are pretty curved out making a bit of a comeback 10 percent to the upside good stuff for crv of course you know did get a bit of an exploit early on which wasn't the greatest but uh going sideways and getting a bit of a bounce nice 10 percent. if you're in it get defensive you want to be able to protect your gains upon this type of bounce that you see right here pretty good in in, in 24 hours 10 percent. what else what else generally speaking sideways gala took a bit of a dump earlier on and it continues coming down although we're getting short-term relief big picture gala is hurting okay gala is hurting it's coming down and coming down quick so uh, is gala dead that's the question you know i would be taking uh, you know as least risk as possible right now we're still grinding to the downside um i would be waiting for very secure levels of support before you start deploying capital once again for Gala. There are other gaming projects out there that we and we cover them on a daily basis here on the channel. We talk about games for a living. We talk about Miria. We talk about Nakamoto Games. We talk about a lot of competitors for Gala because at the end of the day, Gala was one of the first ones that came out, the first studios that came out with a token and all of that. And of course, sometimes the first mover advantage is great. And believe me, earlier investor, investors of Gala did very well, especially if they took profits. But um, the reality is is that there's comp competition for those first movers usually right and sometimes those second movers third movers they catch up and most often they always beat it right so this is the case guys pay attention to other uh, projects within the same narrative and we still have plenty of opportunity to make some fat gains to the upside in this up and coming bull run all right guys that's the general market for me i you know general consensus right now is the market's going sideways we do have a few projects going rogue about two or three but that's expected when you see uh, you know basically the capital Capital flow from one uh, project to the next and this is what we're experiencing all right guys um let's get right into it guys i know you're here to talk about charts let's begin our analysis looking at bitcoin and then we'll shift right into micro vision chain space that's the token for today but could bitcoin give us an indication what we could expect for these altcoins especially the low caps the mid caps the volatile projects could definitely you know get impacted by bitcoin's volatility so let's take a look at this chart in a little bit more detail what's happening here for bitcoin you know, got a bit of a rejection a lower high not really good not really good shine of weakness in my book you know bit of a rejection here at the top of the volume gap where we started to begin getting a bit of volume a sup, you know supply and demand to act as resistance we couldn't hack it in fact the 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 um the price action you know lower lows on the price action not really good now this is a confirmed low okay confirmed low um while the rsi keeps on moving to the upside so it's not really healthy you know a bit of divergence here of course you know bearish divergence it's a hidden bearish divergence but nonetheless it is a divergence happening here and it could we could expect a continuation to the downside and the bullish divergence still exists while we're getting a 
bearish divergence. So what this is basically saying that we could be getting into a, down, a downward sloping channel here. And if we do come down and maintain the bullish divergence, it's likelihood that we eventually try to invalidate either the hidden bearish or the bullish divergence. That's the reality. We got to invalidate either or. We got to see what's going on here in this channel. And ultimately, my bias right now is that we are going to continue try to push until we see Bitcoin fully overbought. You know, that's one of the indicators that I look for as a momentum traders to see when the bears or the bulls, in this case, the bulls are going to be exhausted. And there's no sign of exhaustion just yet, given the fact that the momentum is still pushing up. And yes, we got to create a lower high right now, but it's a local um, a lower high if we kind of break above and start to invalidate it guys you know we could continue to the upside and we know that retracements along the way especially after a nice little impulse we do get a consolidation and we could get that right here consolidate for a little while as the daily is showing us that we are in the chop zone this is why i'm not being very um you know aggressive here because we did get a rejection here which is you know obviously looking bearish but we are we can explain it by saying look look at the volatility look at the momentum we're on the chop zone we could expect a consolidation here very clearly as i always say the 50 percent mark in the rsi is a no trade zone because you kind of don't know what's going on here if you want to get into lower time frames it's definitely possible that's what we've been looking at in the last little while let's jump right into the lower time frames on the four hour you can see we got a class a bearish divergence on these two tops and we're getting the follow through yeah we could get a bit of a bounce and get a follow through price action a lower high and then continue rolling over that's very very possible but until we get oversold i'm expecting that on the four hour the price action or the momentum continues coming down while we get into oversold conditions right that's the reality we got to anticipate that the trend will be our friend even with the trend on momentum will be our friend until the end and until we get into oversold conditions i am not making any drastic moves especially going long okay so um what we see here is that we we may have a trend one touch two touches maybe we do come down barely get into oversold conditions but at least we'll give it our fair attempt and then from there we can make some decisions as a confirmation low a higher low higher low would be absolutely bullish here as it could give us an indication that we are potentially maybe breaking some structure and getting a confirmation based on this bullish divergence because the bullish divergence at this horizontal level of support very strong support previous high previous high you know what i mean we are uh, sorry previous previous low and previous highs are very strong levels of support and the vpvr is confirming it based on the fact that you know we've got a bit of a gap right here so the reality is what do we do now the reality is i would hang tight i would see what kind of influence the bears have here on uh, the short term on the four hour how much strength they have to push this price down and then upon that we can make a decision um you know is it going to make a, a lower high and then get that bounce to the upside guys of course we got a lot of volatility here in the short term we can expect ins and outs but on the weekend guys this is where you're gonna you know find it very difficult to get in and get out and to actually make or execute profitable trades uh, given that the market is so unpredictable uh, the retail market doesn't really lend itself for tr best best trading conditions all right guys let's jump right into space i know you want to talk about space uh the the video for today is all about microvision chain but if we look at bitcoin and see what's happening with bitcoin bitcoin's positivity is still there on the daily which means that okay we can expect pushbacks on the four hour even on the one hour while the daily continues trailing to the upside now we can see that right here microvision chain space they get a super bounce right off of this horizontal okay very nice bounce respected it very nicely but it's not enough it's not enough i still feel like this is a good zone to, to start dca because you know you're not buying the top you know you're buying a decent retracement at previous levels of support now what i really want to bring to light is the weakness that we have down here if we break below this six dollars and 44 cent level it's very likely that we start breaking down with a lot of conviction okay this is the problem here there's not much price action looking left to hold up support now if you look at the momentum did we even get into oversold conditions we didn't so you're going to have a little bit of doubt and that doubt is called risk when you're uh, when you're talking about trading right if you have a doubt that's a risky and the reason why you have doubt you or you should have doubt is that we didn't get oversold uh, if we would have got the momentum into oversold conditions we would have seen maybe a, a bit of um you know weakness in the bears and assume that at that point the bears are exhausted 
but we didn't get that. So what we did get though is a nice EMA cross on the MACD, beautiful green histogram bars forming right now with some conviction, which is nice. We're getting a bit of volume on these histogram bars, which is obviously really good here on the daily to see some volume and conviction in this move to the upside. Um, we did create lower lows and lower high here, even on this move to the upside. So in my opinion, we are slowly, slowly gonna be building a, some sort of confidence here for some support, right? That's the reality, right? The, every impulse to the downside is getting smaller and smaller the momentum is shifting uh, to the upsides uh, as time passes as each impulse grows and you can see that even this impulse this green impulse to the upside created a higher high on the rsi so for me that's not bad that's a hidden you know potential bearish divergence but we need to see this actually get some follow through uh, maybe some consolidation and then from there to see exactly what's going to be happening for microvision chain what i would be doing right now is thinking about a long-term strategy not even short term and it's very fair to say, you know, you can convert a portion of your long term, let's say, a bag into a short term spot position based on volatility. So, for example, let's say you accumulate a bit here and all of a sudden we get a strong pop to the upside. It's OK to say, you know what, I'm going to take 50 percent of that long term spot, uh, long term bag and I'm going to convert it into a short term bag and I'm going to take a bit of profit. And then once we get a retracement, I'm going to buy it all back right you're, you're never going to really exit your your entire bag because you want to make sure that you know if this is the bottom if if, if this is the best op, um, opportunity to be buying in you don't want to exit your entire position you want to leave some for the upside and in, into the bull run but what about if we actually break lower based on this daily momentum that the rsi finally gets oversold what in that case would happen is that you're going to have to have some capital reserve to buy the dip at lower level and that's why i have this yellow line of horizontal support to act, to basically say look if we get down to these levels this is your last line in, in the sand this is your last chance to be buying the dip on the cheap and we got to be aware we got to put that green arrow down, down there and say look this is a great accumulation zone you can see that lots of good green arrows there lots of good um hesitation that we see right now but the possibility the risk that you're taking going all in right now is the fact that it could come down to lower levels and so could the momentum okay macd's looking great though you gotta admit ema cross green histogram bars let's take a look at the, the four hour for a second lower time frames and you can see this quick spike to the upside actually brought the momentum into a over bought scenario really really quickly and i think that it may be very likely that we get up there once again what i don't like is that the volume spike into this impulsive move to the upside in fact was less than these impulsive moves to the upside that really didn't even move the price so for me, this is almost like, you know, maybe there's a bit of weakness in this impulsive move. Maybe there's there's not enough conviction in this impulsive move. So let's be careful here on the four hour. I feel like it would be really nice to um, if you're going to go in heavier, first go in small right here just accumulate maybe 25 percent. Use a 30, 30, 40 rule. That would be great. Get in with 30 percent. Right now, if we come back, back down to the uh, double bottom scenario and get a nice double bottom, triple bottom type of uh, scenario at about $8.20, maybe deploy another 30%. And then if we finally break below, you'll have to have those diamond hands and th that strength and that conviction of the fundamentals behind Microvision Chain for you to be able to buy the dip right down here with the rest of the 40% that you want to allocate to Microvision Chain. So it's about DCAing, distributing your capital at uh, strategic moments so that you reduce your risk position size is the best way to mitigate your risk all right guys so uh microvision chain a great great project go check it out um i do cover a microvision chain quite a bit um i do have uh, some previous videos as to how i did get to that you know analysis in those horizontals they're there and um if i'm not mistaken i think i did a deep dive earlier on go check it out uh deep dives are uh, there's a lot of deep dives here on the channel i did teraxa i did um uh, my miria i did uh octospace a few few of them go check it out some good stuff there fundamentals if you're interested in fundamentals the best way to do it is to actually do your research do your research educate yourself understand what the value propositions are uh, um, with these tokens because this is the time to do it during the bear market we do have a lot of time to to spend and to basically invest in our in ourselves as traders as investors as um, individuals in the crypto space we want to know that's the thing you got it definitely gives you power knowledge does give you power
hour all right overall here guys space great dca opportunity nice retracement from the top what kind of retracement are we talking about you're in right now for a an approximately 50 percent fire sale guys these sales are meant to be bought all right guys if i've offered you any value in this video you know what you got to do join me live at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action and of course do the channel a massive favor slap the like button it does really help out to get these videos out there and if you want to follow me on the socials the links are in the description below join the discord guys great community lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and all that good stuff all right guys take care have a good one and see you tonight and don't forget buy the dip